We'll send Thinkin' Lot to Chief Meteorologist Topper Shut. Topper, are, are you with some animals? I am. I have a goat. Yes. <laughs> this is this is Allie. Enough and of you. We want to see the goat. Six weeks old. Look. Topper's always yeah, I know. surrounded by animals. Look at her. She wants she to eat wants everything to on the stage because there's all kinds of plants on the stage. And does this bring back any memories, Caitlin, of a uh, frying pan farm? Oh, yeah. And you were holding a little pig. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We we're talking about that. Okay, so we are live here at Sully Historic uh, Site, and this is going to be the celebration of Earth Day for Fairfax, and it is going to be fantastic. 10 to 4 tomorrow, free admission, and I'm joined now, along with Ellie, the director, a more important person, uh, Jay Cole, the executive director of the Fairfax Park Authority. Yes. I get that right? Yes, you yes, got it. Excellent. Okay. Totally right. So, first things first, it's going to be okay tomorrow. Clouds are going to be in the morning, and then it's going to be just spectacular. You kind of let us down last year. I know. It rained. But, but, I, but, okay. But what about how many people came last year? About 4,000 people still showed up, even though it rained at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. As you predicted, by the way. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, Ellie, Ellie, calm down, Ellie. Um, so this year, it's going to be full sun. Mm -hmm. It'll be breezy, okay. but it'll be gorgeous. Now, let's talk about what this means to the community. Oh, these are all the volunteers behind us. Wave, everybody. Thank you. They're setting up all the booths today and everything. So tell us more about what this means to Fairfax and your role and just what a great event it is. It's a great, a great family event. It's really a great event, and we're talking about Earth Day that was created in 1970, and it really created the EPA. So before the first Earth Day, there was no... Um, rules or laws or regulations for waste. So really this is the celebration of uh, the country's commitment to the environment and our commitment to the environment and parks is huge so it really does dovetail um, together. So we have a lot of events that are happening here. You can come and skate on non-ice ice. You can come see our mobile nature center. Um, we can come and do the weather with Topper Shut. Um, there's a lot of things that you can, great things uh, in store for everybody who comes. Excuse me, she's eating my shoelaces. It's, it's, fine. it's okay. It's fine. You don't need All it. right, so uh, tomorrow, 10 o'clock mm -hmm. to 4 o'clock. Now, let's, let me just show you what this is, Ellie. She's the cutest. So let's talk about, we'll show this, what, what you can do tomorrow. And it, this is just a little bit of what you can do. And it's a great family event. Of course, I'm, you know, you got visit the furry farm animals. That's mm -hmm. from the uh, frying pan uh, farm, right? Mm -hmm. You got live entertainment. Always. In fact, the band's setting up here in like 45 minutes. The outdoor ice skating rink, yes, it's fake ice, but it's cool. It's very cool. And mobile weather studio, first door, first room on your right, you go in the in the building. Food and games, hands-on activities, and teaching kids how to uh, become a steward of the earth. And again, we showed this earlier, the Wonder Wagon. Yes. Yes, I may peek underneath it. You can't it. peek. I can't Not peek. Not yet. Not okay. till tomorrow. Okay. But that is going to be, that's the first of its kind in Fairfax. First of its kind in Fairfax. It's going to be taking nature into communities. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, Jay, we'll see you again in about an hour. Thank you so uh, much. Ellie, you were pretty good. My, my shoelaces are somewhat intact. And we're going to send it back to Caitlin now uh, for the full forecast, which, as we mentioned, looks good. It absolutely does. Hey, and at least Ellie didn't tinkle on you like the little piggy did at Brian That's Pan. right. <laughs> but that's okay. You know what? For the animals, we will we will take it all because they really are so cute. Looking forward to seeing them out there tomorrow. The entire weather team, again, going to be out there, and it's just going to be a gorgeous.